Hey guys, this is Sam with ShinePay and I'm here to introduce you to the Shine Insights. This is the tool that will help you as an operator to manage your business with ShinePay. And you can access this by visiting shinepay.io on your computers, phones, tablets, or pretty much every device that has the access to the internet. You can also download our Shine Insights app on App Store for your Apple devices. Now let's get on the functions and features of your Shine Insights account. These are the options that we have in store for you so you can manage your machines remotely. You can add and remove machines from your account, edit the price options, copy pricing modes from one machine to many machines, and this is very helpful in case you have to update multiple machines. You don't have to edit every machine. You can just edit one machine, copy the new pricing mode, and apply that to multiple machines. And then you can change the location of your machines change the machine type, and update coin capacity. So your Shine Insights account actually counts or records all the coins that are getting in your machine. All you need to do is to update or set max capacity for every machine so you would know when to collect your coins. For your income, you can withdraw your funds, add, edit, and remove income recipients, and then you can generate your income report, and you have the income overview and then process refunds. So for refunds, your customers have the ability to request for a refund for every transaction and then you have the option to approve this on your Shine Insights account. You can also reset your password, you have your customer account overview, and then you can add or remove attendance. So gone are the days where attendants have to use quarters to activate machines. Now they can just use Shine Attendance and they can activate a machine without using a quarter. I'll link down the video below how to use Shine Attendance. And you can also visit our Help Center as your guide. It has every information that you would be needing regarding Shine Insights, Shine Pay, Shine Attendance, and so on. You can visit this by going to help.shinepay.co or you can stay with me and I'll walk you through how to use your Shine Insights. So now I'm logged into my Shine Insights account by visiting shinepay.io on my Google Chrome using my computer. So to edit your machines, all you need to do is to click on Machines tab. Let's click on here. And then let's wait for it to load up. And under this tab, you will see the list of all machines that are registered under your account. You can see here the list. And then you will see the ID and then the location and the machine type and the pricing modes or pricing options that are set to this machine if it's enabled or disabled and then you also see the list I mean the number of coins um, in this machine so to edit this specific machine 101028 all you need to do is to click anywhere in this field and let's wait for it to load up all right now we are under machine 101028 settings you can see the machine information here on the left side. You will see the location and then the machine type. If you want to change the location, all you need to do is to click on the drop down option and you can select with any of the previous addresses that you have registered under your account. If it's a new location, you can just click on add new location and then you can fill out this form and then click on add location. And then after that, you can go back and the new added location should be available from these options. So you just have to select it. Um, it's the same thing with machine type. You can just select with any of these existing options. And if it's a different machine type, all you need to do is to click on add machine type. And then you can type it here and click on add new type. It should be now available with these other options. And you can just select that. And then after that, it should give you a notification that the changes were successful. And then on this side, you can see coin count. So this is where you can see the number of coins in your machine. So at the moment, we have 0%, so not, no coins are in this machine. And then you can see here the max capacity, which is 410. And if I want to change the max capacity, all I need to do is to click on Edit Coin Capacity. So the maximum capacity we can set to a machine is 450. Let's say that we want to set 400 for this machine instead of 410. I'll click on Submit, and then I'll wait for this notification success. So that's when you know that the changes you have saved um, are successful. Let's click on OK, 
and then below this page you will see pricing and modes so this is where you can edit add remove pricing options so the existing price options we have are 1.75 and 1.50 with the same mode warm now you can edit this you can customize this based on your preference if you want to put power wash light wash heavy wash whichever meets your preference and if you want to add a new pricing option all you need to do is to click on add and if you want to delete you can just click on delete and then if you want to copy this pricing option or pricing modes to other machines all you need to do is to click on copy pricing to other machines so whatever you have this you can apply this to other machines as well without having to go through them one by one so let's click on that and then this will be the pop-up you'll see the list of the machines under your account uh, per page is 10 machines so if you cannot find the machine you want to edit here you can just go to next page and if you're having a hard time looking by just going through it one by one with your eyes, you can just type in here the machine ID that you want to apply the pricing option to. Let's say 101474. And then I can just click on that and I'll click on copy pricing. After that, wait for the notification that says successful before moving on because that's how you know that the changes were successful. And that's pretty much it is in terms of editing your machine. To add a new machine, just click on Machines tab, which is located on the upper left corner of your screen. And then once the page has loaded, you can select on the option that says Add New Machine. This is located on the upper right corner of your screen. Just click on that and then just provide the needed information to add this machine. So enter here the machine ID, which can be found on the QR sticker that comes to the Spark receiver or on the receiver itself if you have yet to install it. And then you can enter here the amount or the price of each transaction. And if you're setting up this machine with multiple price options or pricing modes, you can add the additional pricing options later after we have successfully added this machine. So just enter one price option first and then enter the location. You can select from the existing locations of your account. If it's a new location, just click on add new location. And for the machine type, just select from these existing options or you can add a new machine type if it's a different one. And then after we have successfully added this, you can edit the machines later and then add the new prices. So for now, let's add the machine by clicking add machine and then wait for a pop-up that says successful with a check mark. That's when you know that you have successfully added the machine. Under transactions tab, which is the default page after you log into your Shine Insights account, you will see the list of all transactions from your machines. You will see the location, the machine ID, customer's email address, the date of the transaction, and then the amount. You will also see here if the transaction has been refunded or not. If you can see an option that says refund, a clickable option, it means that the transaction has not been refunded, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the customer has requested for a refund. This option is just available for you guys in case you need to refund this transaction for any reason. And then if you want to export these transactions, you can click on export transactions on the upper right corner of your page and then you should be getting an email within one to five minutes a csv file containing all these transactions and that's about transactions to view and generate reports just click on reports tab on the left side of your screen and then wait for it to load all right, under reports, you will see the list of locations that you have. And then on top, you have an overview, how many locations are registered under your account, the number of transactions from day one, and then the total revenue from day one. So the total revenue does not represent your current balance. This is the total revenue from day one to present. And then below that, you have an overview um, of your income per location. So for example, we have Alfredo. Uh, number of transactions is two from day one to present 
and gross revenue is three dollars and seventy five cents and then the net revenue is three dollars and sixty cents so the net revenue is the amount after deducting the three point nine percent transaction fee now if you want to download your report um, or download a report just click on download report on the upper right corner of your screen and then select the start date and the end date and then after that click on generate report you will receive an email attaching a CSV file that includes the report and that's pretty much it is to view a refund request from your customers click on refunds on the left side of your screen and here you will see the list of all refund requests that are pending. So at the moment, we have one pending request. You can see here the machine ID, the date that the refund has been requested, and the total amount of the transaction. So you can either refund this or you can click on deny if you wish to deny the request. And we also have a search bar here in case you're looking for a specific transaction. You can either use a machine ID to filter or you can use the customer's email address. And that's everything about refunds. To view your customer's information, click on Customers tab on the left side of your screen. And then under this page, you will see the list of all customers who had transactions with your machines. You can see here the list, um, their email addresses. And then we also have a search bar that you can use to search for a customer using their email address. Now let's try to open this customer's account, boss at testshinepay.com. You can open their account by clicking anywhere on this field. And let's try. All right. You can see the customer's email address here on top. And then you can click on email customer if you wish to email the customer. And then you will see the sign up date, the total transactions from day one, and total refunds. Uh, from day one as well and you will see below the list of all transactions they had and we also have a search bar here if you're looking for a specific transaction you can use the machine id um, as a filter and then here is a transaction you can see the machine id you had transaction with their account email address and then the date of their transaction and also the amount of transaction there is also a refund button here in case you wish to refund this specific transaction. So that's everything you need to know about your customer's account overview. To add and create a new attendant account, click on attendance tab on the left side of your screen. And then under this attendance tab, you will see the list of all attendants registered under your account. And to create a new one or add a new attendant, click on Add New Attendant button on the upper right corner of your screen. Enter here the first name, the attendant's last name, and then the email address. And then click on Add Attendant. And after successfully adding the attendant, the attendant should be receiving a welcome email from ShinePay and another email containing a temporary password they could use to log in to their Shine Attendant app. And that's about adding a new attendant. And lastly, I put down the link for the video below on how you can withdraw your funds with ShinePay using your Shine Insights account. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at shinepay.co and we are happy to assist you.